Hello everyone. So today we're going to hear about um, a story in the Bible where Jesus meets a woman at the well. And uh, we're going to hear all about that in a minute. But first of all, I'm going to show you how to make your well. So you should have um, a piece of card like this, about that size. And on that card, you're going to draw um, some stones or bricks so that it looks like a wall, um, like I've done here. So you can see it looks like it looks like a wall, doesn't it? And that's what the well would have um, looked like. So then when you've done that, you're going to roll it around and stick it together so that you've got a complete circle in a, in a well shape. And then you get your um, drops of water, which I've, I've written some words on here. So you should have one of these. And if you cut all your drops of water out, and then you want to write the, um, get the words that I've written in the right order so that we can, we can thread them through the string and put them into the well. So I'll read it out to you, and this is the order that you want them to go in. See if you can get them in the same order. Jesus said, the water I give you will never run out. So um, if you can put them in that order, and then you want to get a hole punch. I got a little hole punch here, and to try and punch a hole in the, in the um, water drops that you've cut out. So you'll need to push it right in to get a hole so that it doesn't just go on the edge. And next you're going to thread the um, words onto string in the order that, um, that I read it. So hopefully that should, that should make sense. And then when you've done that, the last word is out and the one that's nearest, the bit of string that's nearest to your last word, you want to stick the end of the string to the inside of the well so that you can then push all your water drops into the well. So that when you pull it out, it, you should be able to read like this. So Jesus said, the water I give will never run out. And it should come out like that with lots of lots of gaps in between. <laughs> so while you're making that, I'll, I'll explain what this is all about. Now, um, in the Bible, it tells us a story where Jesus meets this woman at a well. Um, she goes, she's drawing water from the well and Jesus is tired and um, he stops for a rest and he asks her for a drink of water. Now, the woman was a Samaritan and Jesus was a Jew. And in those days, the Jews and the Samaritans did not like each other at all. But this didn't stop Jesus talking to her because he wanted to give her something. Now, in return for the water that she gives him, he said he would give her living water that never runs out. That's a strange thing to say, isn't it? Now, what did Jesus mean when he said that? Do you ever get really thirsty when you're outside and you're running around? So you come and have a drink. I've got some water here. And um, you drink it and it stops you feeling thirsty again, doesn't it? But later on, you may um, feel thirsty, but you may have drunk most of your water. So you go and get another one, but it does run out because, um, because you get thirsty again, don't you? And you have another drink. Well, Jesus wanted to show this woman that she could be filled with God's living water, which is the Holy Spirit. Now this, this Holy Spirit, God's living water, lasts forever. And he says she will never be thirsty again. And what it means is that Jesus satisfies us so that we never have to sort of worry about things or um, want for things because Jesus gives us everything that we need. Now the living water can live in us as well. So um, we can drink, we, we should drink the water that we have like this water we should drink it a lot because it's very good for our bodies and it keeps us healthy and it keeps us hydrated and it stops us being thirsty when we've done exercise but we can also have this living water inside us as well and we can be filled up with it all we need to do is ask Jesus to fill us up with his Holy Spirit and we can receive this living water so um, let's ask now um, for that and we'll just ask, we'll just pray to Jesus Dear God, thank you so much that you can fill us up with your living water. And we want that to live in us so that we will never be thirsty, so that we will never 
want for anything. Lord, I ask that you would fill me up now with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So I hope you've enjoyed making your wells and uh, I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye.